If you're teaching online or even if you're in a face-to-face -face classroom and you want your students to work online together, um, there are a lot of tools out there to have them collaborate online um, synchronously and even asynchronously. Um, one of the things I like to do is I like to have my students get in groups outside of the class to work on, uh, in this case, watching a video together or listening to something together or reading something together and then discussing it. Um, and one of the ways you can do that is using something called SyncTube. If you have a YouTube video you would like your students to watch, you can actually have them use SyncTube and they can watch the YouTube video together but they don't have to even be in the same room. They can be in different parts of the world for all that matters. Because what happens is they are all going to a room, a virtual room together online, and they're watching the video synchronously. So one person presses play and it starts it on everybody's um, computer. And then when they stop it, it stops everybody at the same time. And then there's a chat box and all that type of thing. So let me show you how that works. Um, one of the, there's a few different tools out there. I like this one, which is synctube.de. So it's sync-tube.de. And when you get there, all you need to do to set up a room is create room. Once you have the room set up, um, you'll want to make a few setting changes first. So up in the top right, you hit click on settings. And here is where you can set up the users, the rooms, and the permissions. So with the users, um, it creates a random name. So we're going to actually change that so that it is a my real name. And you can change the color of which um, that name appears in the chat, for example. Not a real big deal there. But one of the things you do want to have is you do want to have it um, remember your name. So I'm going to click on this. It's really hard to see, but it does go green when you click on these um, to show that that's, that's uh, remembered. One of the things you also want to do is you want to take off the public part. The reason for that is you don't want it to be found in the search in the, the public rooms. So you just make sure it's green by default. You're just going to click on it to make it go black. And then you can change the room name. So I'm going to put this as a um, very um, unique name of Nathan Demo. And then under permissions, you have three different users with some different tasks they can do. So the owner, me in this case, because I set up the room, I have all of the permissions. I can add a video, I can remove a video, I can move a video, um, I can play and pause it, I can seek, I can skip all of the things I can normally do with the YouTube video. I can use the chat and I can kick people out of the room. Moderator would be, you would designate someone as a moderator. I wouldn't worry about that too much because guest is the more important ones because what you're going to do is you're going to share, if I'm the teacher, I'm going to share this with my students and they're going to come in as guests. So um, I can have a guest add a video, but they can't start it. Um, and they can't remove videos. I can change all of these. And one of the ones I do like to change is the play pause because that allows anybody to pause it at any time. Um, and I do allow them to do things like um, uh, remove videos from the list as well too. So those are kind of the four things they can use a chat and all that type of stuff. All right, so once that's done, all I have to do is just click outside of this settings box and it will take me back to here. So now what I need is a video. Now, there is a search box, box at the top, but it doesn't seem to work for some reason. I'm not sure why, um, but it will allow you to paste a YouTube URL in there. So I'm just going to go over to um, a YouTube channel, uh, which has a number of little documentaries and stuff in it. And I'm going to um, go in here and find a video. So I'm going to find a video any. here, pause this, I'm going to copy the YouTube URL. I'm going to paste it in here. When I do that, you'll see it appear below and you can say click to add and it will actually start the video automatically. Now, I don't want to actually watch the video just yet. So I'm going to pause it. Um, in here, we have a playlist. You'll notice I just added the one video. If I add any additional videos before this is done, it'll appear in the playlist. So it'll allow me to add multiple ones. So I'm just going to show you how that would work. I'm going to go back to that same thing and I'm going to um, With Grammarly, grab you another can find video good. here. No, perfect. Pause this one. Go in here, paste, choose. It now appears over here. 
Now you'll notice the up and down arrows. If I have multiple things there, I can move those up and down. That's the move function in the settings that allows you to do that. Again, you'll notice my name here. Now, I have to invite somebody. So all I need to do is copy the URL from this room, the sync tube. I'm going to copy this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you side by side because I think that would be helpful. So I have an incognito tab open over here, which means that it doesn't know that I exist here. So I'm going to paste that in and it comes up. So you'll notice it shows the first video, the one I added here originally. Um, and if I go to playlist, you can see the one that I added in the playlist. And in the chat, um, you'll notice I scroll down, it has this new user to it. Now, they can go into settings and they can change their name. Um, so I'm just going to change Joe. And again, they can change color and stuff, but they can't do anything else. So again, now we have the two here and we can chat back and forth as well. So we can have the, the chat going on um, as they watch the video. So you'll notice with Joe, if I try to play the video, um, I have that function because I allowed that to happen. If you don't allow that, they would get this big can't do that thing. In fact, if I hold it over the skip one, you'll see that that shows up. Um, so they're allowed to start and stop it, but you'll notice it does it basically synchronously. Um, it might be slightly off, but you would have to literally be in the same room for that to happen. Now, that's why this doesn't work very well in a classroom setting. Like I wouldn't want the groups uh, around in the same classroom because if they don't have their headphones on, it's going to be out of whack. Um, so either they have to put the headphones on or they have to be in completely different places. So this works very well for outside the classroom type of work. For example, online, you could actually online, I could be having a video that I want to show my students um, online and I could be doing like a web chat with them. I could send them the link and I could start and stop the video at points to allow them to stop and have a discussion with me, for example, either through the chat or through the video chat. So that allows that to happen. Um, again, I can actually go in, I can skip to the next uh, video and we can watch that as well too. So you can set up certain things to allow that to um, be prepared for the next video, next video, next video. Um, few things you can't do, for example, I can't set a specific spot in the video to skip to. Um, with YouTube, you can actually have it set to, you can get a URL to allow it to start and stop at different spots. Um, this one doesn't, it always starts at the beginning, so you have to then uh, scrub the the along here to be able to get to the spot that you'd want to do it. So if you wanted to start at 15, for example. But uh, not a real big deal because, again, no registration needed. Students just literally need to take the link, go there, and they can literally start watching the video together with you. So I hope that's helpful to you. Um, and if you do have any ideas about how you might be able to use this, uh, please put that in the comment section in the bottom. Um, if you like the videos, make sure that you subscribe. And if you want more tools and more ideas, you can also go to my website, nathanhall.ca. Thank you.